Hello readers and writers, Mrs. Koenig here with another common word study. Today we are going to look at the word part graph. Graph. Graph means to write. The word part is a Greek root. In other words, you have prefixes and suffixes that get added to this root word to make a new, a new word from just the word graph. Okay, so if graph means to write, let's take a look at some words that contain graph and let's find the connection to the word write. The first word is biography. Now, if you remember bio, bio means, I hope you said life. Remember we had that one a while back? Bio means life. So if you have a biography, a biography is a story written about somebody's life, just like this book, The Last Boy. It looks like it's a book about Mickey Mantle, but Mickey Mantle did not write it. Jane Le Levy wrote it about Mickey Mantle. That's what would make it a biography. An autobiography would be if Mickey Mantle wrote his own life story. But that's not what this is. A biography is a life story written by someone else. The second word is telegraph. Now, if you remember, we talked about telegraphs when we talked about our Titanic unit. They used a telegraph to communicate from ship to ship. And, and that was the first uh, line of communication that was able to be transmitted from afar. Remember, tele means from afar. Boy, see how we're starting to get connections now, you guys? Tele means from afar, and graph means to write. So in essence, what a telegraph does is a telegraph writes messages. It receives messages kind of using Morse code. It was tapped in through a transmitter, and then the, the signal was sent far away to another telegraph machine where it was read and decoded and written down by another telegraph um, writer. So the word telegraph is two parts that we've already studied. Tele means from afar and graph means to write. So it means to write messages received from afar. Photograph is the next one. Look at this cute little dog. Isn't he adorable? That is a photograph of a dog. Now you might think, well, it's not written about the dog. No. Photo means light. We haven't had that one yet, but photo means light. So a photograph is an image that's captured using light on a negative. And then from there, an image is created of whatever is being photographed in, you know, through the lens. And in this case, it is a cute little terrier. It looks like a Jack Russell Terrier dog. But photograph is an image of something that's kind of captured or written, I guess, if you will, on a negative and then can be printed. And then the last word is graphics. Now, you've probably heard of graphics. Maybe you'll have a graphic design course one day when you're in high school or college. But graphics is basically taking information and displaying it in a visual way. Usually it's man-made or it's created. Um, but this would be considered a, an example of graphics. This is a graphics of, a gra of various graphs. You've got the line graph and the bar graph and pie graph and so on. And these are graphs where they take information and they kind of put it in written form visually so that you can see it. And that's what graphics are. Graphics are visual representations of, you know, ideas or information. So there you have it. You'll see lots of graph words. Be on the lookout for them. And now you've learned some new, a new word for today. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.